Come along with us on a quick walkthrough of Into the Woods before customers begin picking up their purchased artwork. 95% of the art featured in the show was picked up by us on a recent road trip to Georgia, Kentucky, and North Carolina. The show features art from Cornbread, Josh Cote, Lonnie and Twyla Money, and a New Orlando-based artist named Magali Saragino Groves. Each artist brings an element of their interpretation of the beauty found in the richly dense forests covering the southern United States. Here are a few examples of Lonnie and Twyla Money's work. They contributed these whimsical creatures native to their Kentucky neck of the woods. Keeping in their Scandinavian style carving tradition, they come from a long line of carvers. This is a snake made out of a long, long gourd. And it's a rattlesnake. Um, so actually kind of funny when you take it off the wall and shake it a little bit, it does rattle from the seeds from the gourd. Here's a little wide shot, a little pan of what the gallery is looking like right now for the show. Let's go ahead and start over here. The black bear and raccoon are actually by John Cornbread Anderson. His uh, home in North Georgia, um, surrounded by woods, which often occupy his time and mind, when he's not hiking the forest or rock hunting, he's in a home studio painting his finds. He recently told us the summer proves too hot and snake ridden to hike too much, so he gets a lot more painting done. He also loves to fish, as you can see. Another snake by Lonnie and Toil Money. Some guinea hens, mama and the baby. Polka dots are a strong visual theme in this show, as you can tell as well as guinea hens, which are very unique creatures. There's a woodpecker and her babies. Those little uh, naturally wood birds there, those are actually made by uh, Lonnie and Twyla out of tobacco sticks, which is traditionally used to hang dry tobacco before it gets turned into smoking tobacco. We've got a little murder of crows in this corner. It was a little bit bigger during the show, but um, Still pretty impressive by Josh Cote. Josh manipulates steel hay, hay baling wire uh, to create his jaw-dropping creatures. His lifelike characters are the perfect bridge between the often unseen wilderness and our much tamer daily lives, we think. And look at the character in this face. This little rabbit. Look at those spiral cheeks. All creatures great and small here. Little arachnid, little spider. This guy's just hanging out too. This is a wood burn board by Magali Saragino Groves. Look at the details. Actually a collaborative piece between her and her son. Her son drew on the characters, the creatures, the animals, and she went back and stained the board and burnt it on. Got a little tree happening in the gallery. Magali is so great. She graciously contributed her museum quality wood burn gourds to our gallery forest. Sourced uh, from a farm in Georgia, actually, Magali brings the dry gourds home to create intricately designed scenes of the natural world. Here's an underwater scene. All wood burn, there's no painting this hummingbird. This is her um, buff series, so she doesn't stain it so much. It's all just burnt. And it's a box. The discoloration inside the little box is from the seeds, so that's pretty natural. It's normal. Got a black bear with his dinner by Lonnie and Twyla Money. Okay. Over here in this corner, got some cornbread surrounding a very relaxed hair by Josh Cote. And another amazingly intricate gourd by Magali Sergino Groves. This series um, that she did with her son is inspired by the deforestation and the disappearing habitat of animals and all the critters. This guy. 
What an attitude. <laughs> We've got a few more cornbread pieces. Here's a few shots from our recent road trip. That's at his hunting cabin with the large piece you're about to see. I'm signing a few pieces. Getting some more guineas and turkey. Loving that fox. Here's another fox with his dinner, which is a guinea hen. Cheekily placed under a portrait of a guinea hen. Har har. More snake. And if you want more photos from our trip and maybe a little bit of a travel log, you can visit us at jtfolkart.com where we have a blog and we talk about these things. That's the piece cornbread was holding. And we're back to my favorite gourd snake. <laughs> well, thanks so much for coming along with us and checking out the show. Let us know what you thought. Did anything stand out to you? And if you want to see the show in person, it will hang until September 25th. It's also all available online at jtfolkart.com. Thank you.